This new product development project is just taking too long. How many times have you been in the midst of a project think that? We're never gonna go on. This is supposed to be a year and a half. We're at two years and I can't see the end of the tunnel yet. Why do projects take longer than we think that they should up front? We're planning them. We have a vision for it. First one is just failures along the way, whether they're technology failures, team dynamic failures, um, just things that kind of set us back and, and throw us off course. Um, and as we kind of don't build in really to handle failures or know what to do when they do happen. Um, so I, I, I think they can extend us. So we gotta make sure anything that has a risk of failing is done super early. So we have time to loop and recover on it. Maybe order some new parts, do a new design, get some new materials, whatever it might be. Um, but expect some failures. Don't freak out about them, but also have resources to address those failures, whether it's internal people or an external person like myself as a consultant to come in to kind of bring some focus uh, and unbiased view on how we solve it. Another thing is a lot of product development tasks, even though we can have some pretty detailed schedules, a lot of the work within it tends to be pretty unstructured. And, and at the same time, you can't micromanage it, um, but you need to bring some structure at times. Uh, I've always tried to flip the switch a little bit of, you know, let's, let's let the engineers, technicians go play for a while, but give it kind of a time frame, and then we either move forward or we do something more structured. Um, so kind of breaking down kind of the milestones and the outputs, uh, not in terms of drawings or other things, but in learning um, and make sure it's structured learning, structured activity. Um, sometimes and again it can't be 100 percent structured because creation of new things is going to evolve and and uh you know it, there's going to be some ex unexpected things like the failures we talked about before but if all you do is unstructured you get to the point of design validation they say we just got to start to finish this project on time and you haven't done enough structured focus learning to make sure you've learned enough to move forward the other thing i think that makes new products uh and their development take too long is decision making. Um, a, I think as a leader, you need to know when to step up, make decisions, and give guidance to your team. That time is early in a project. Set the stage, set the expectations. Not that you're going to have all the answers, but don't just say, here's the requirements, go figure it out on your own. You need to have enough additional insights that you can communicate to the team to really help them get the context of what you're trying to do, the concept of how it's going to be used the way the customers think and those things, be involved in those discussions, not making those decisions, but giving those guidance. If there is a critical decision that needs to be made, you need to step up as a leader and make the hard decisions. Don't say, oh, you're accountable. You know, I'll, you know, I'll trust you, do whatever you wanna do. Yeah, that happens until validation happens and then there's the fist on the table, why didn't you do this? Um, I think part of decisions is making sure that certain decisions are pushed back to the team um, when appropriate. And again, fairly early, not that from day one, day one they need guidance. Uh, but as the team is kind of moving, uh, let them sort some things out. I tended to use the phrase with people on my teams that I've thought about this for five minutes. You're gonna spend the next five months working on it in detail. I hope you come up with a better idea than I just came up with, but I can give you the context in five minutes. I can't tell you the best answer for it. And when they truly believe you and trust you as a leader, that you will let them go, they do come up with some amazing new ideas. Um, so I think it's leadership decision and team decision-making are both um, suspect and in that are cause for why projects can take longer than they should. Um, you know, and these decisions are, Data helps, data is not the only thing. Um, you know, if it's purely data, that's bad. If it's purely without data, it's bad. That's where the unstructured tends to be less data driven than just having a feel for the design. Um, so expect failures, plan for them, expect them, make that okay, but fail early. Um, balance your structured and unstructured efforts and make sure the leader's making the big decisions, um, but listening to the people before they make them but making sure enough decisions making is, is happening within the team. So as you get closer to validation, a lot more is going on. 
the team is comfortable and skilled in making decisions together. Not that people can't make decisions, but in this particular team, in this particular context, it may not be, well, it's not going to be uh, uh, something they've done before with this particular group. So it's important to give them those skill sets early. If you would like help in making your new product development not take so long, shorten that for you, save time, get to market sooner, call Superior Solutions. We'd love to help you achieve what we've done for countless clients.